Hi. So today I'm going to teach you what I learned about laundering money on the farm. But first, uh, last time I made a time lapse of a zucchini satellite, and some of you liked that time lapse and made requests for new time lapses. So I made some. So this is a pea coming out. This took me six or seven tries to get right. Time lapses are a lot of trial and error, um, mostly error. And this pea in particular was quite a challenge. This is a bean. Uh, the bean's pretty simple. I, I only need to do, do one of this, but as you can see, it doesn't really do that much. It's kind of just there. This is another zucchini flower. Um, I thought the zucchini satellite was cool, so I focused on the flower, but I still think the zucchini satellite's cooler. These are potatoes, if you can't tell. And what I was doing just now was hilling potatoes, because apparently potatoes grow better in a hill. No one's actually told me why potatoes grow better in a hill, but I think the idea is with more earth up around the stem, um, that makes a deeper stem, it's going to put out more roots, and of course with potatoes what you want are the roots. Um, this is our second time going through and hilling potatoes. The first time Kate went through with a machine called a BCS. Um, it's basically a gasoline-powered earth mover of some sort. And um, she did that. She hilled the potatoes with the automatic earth mover. And then she sent us back with a race because the BCS didn't do as good a job as she wanted. Um, and that kind of drove something home for me, which is that we do a lot on this farm with hand tools. Almost everything. Um, we have the BCS. The BCS helps us make beds. Um, it's good for moving earth around. And we have an electric cart. And pretty much everything else we do with hand tools or we use our hands. And all agriculture is a little bit like that. Um, maybe this is special or it's a small farm. It's not very mechanized. I'm sure if you go looking, there's plenty of giant tractors and farm machinery out there. I don't want to say there's no mechanization. But it's impressive to me that in this day and age where everything is mech, everything comes from a factory, that our hands in agriculture are still used so much. That says something about how difficult agriculture is, um, how difficult it is to mechanize, um, and how versatile these are. I think that's pretty cool. So, I promised I would tell you what I learned about laundering money. So, here I am, washing some money. Now, why am I washing five dollar bills, you might ask? Well, I want to do something I haven't done yet in this series of videos, and that's share some footage from the actual documentary that I'm making while I'm here. Um, yesterday, I spent the day planting quarters and growing money and harvesting twenties. Um, and obviously this is a documentary, and farmers don't literally plant quarters and harvest twenties. As both Kate, the farm manager, and Arzina, the farmer, pointed out to me, that's really unrealistic. Nothing's worth $20. Um, but the film is about money and farming, and this makes a convenient visual metaphor. So, guess what I did yesterday? And, at the end of all of this, uh, the money's really dirty. So, here I am, washing $5 bills. Now, I promised I was going to share what I learned about laundering money, so what did I learn from all this? Well, turns out, um, if you wash money with water, um, the bills stick together, I think because they're made of plastic. So what I learned is, if you're going to wash money, wash the bills individually, um, and make sure they're dry before you put them together. Um, so this is my last week here on Amara Farm. Next week I'm going to be somewhere else. So if you want to see where I end up, uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, you can f learn more about the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca. Uh, look for the Join Us tab and uh, you can sign up for a newsletter. Uh, or you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, see you next week.